and welcome back to Mistake Week in GTA Online. So this is a celebration of all the things I've messed up with this week's weekly update. So the first of my significant mess ups was buying the Yuga Custom because it's awful and if you want to see how awful you can see that video here. My second and third mistakes were buying the Yosemite Drift from the LS car meet because that was awful and for not realising I had messed up my microphone setup. So on to mistake number three and that is this car that you're looking at here. So this is the Rebler GTS which is on offer this week and this is my third mistake but my mistake isn't buying this. My mistake with this one is not buying it sooner because I'll be honest this is probably the only car this week from the GTA Online weekly update offers that I feel like I'm able to recommend you go out and buy. So why didn't I buy it sooner? Well, there's a risk I'm going to make myself look like a bit of a dick here, but I just don't like the X5. This is based on the BMW X5. I am a BMW fan, but I hate the X5. I hate everything about it. I hate how it looks. I hate how it drives, I hate the people that drive it. I hate its bratty younger brother, the X3. I hate its fat uncle in a badly fitting tracksuit, the X6. I just dislike everything this car stands for. So that's basically why I never bought it. Now it could well be that you have friends or relatives or maybe you are that person that owns this car and you're not a complete dick. It's possible, you know, the law of averages states that somewhere in the world someone has bought an X5 and isn't a complete dick but I just I haven't met that person yet and if it's you or if it's someone you know great what we'll do we'll set up um, a little club we'll call it the non-offensive BMW society no that don't work does it that don't work at all I'll, I'll think of a better name um, but yeah so that's why I never bought it. I never bought it because I really don't like the car in real life. It's very much the same reason that I haven't bought the Omnis EGT. Um, even though I drive an EV in real life, I really, really dislike the electric Audi that the EGT is based on. So what this has taught me is I need to stop being so much of a snob and have a bit of a word with myself because this car is great, it's on offer so there's a decent saving to be had. It has some really good customization. in fact from the newer cars in the game it's actually some of the best customization I've seen, you've got all sorts of options, you can go a little bit wild or you can just go for something that kind of looks how it would have looked out of the factory if you wanted to beef it up that way, so there's great customization there. It's a little bit slow off the mark, but it's another one of those cars that builds speed really well, so before you know it, you're actually going at a decent rate. And for that reason, as you'll see here on the top speed test, it actually turns in a respectable top speed. Rushing ahead to the summary of the first part of this video, on the road, this is great. But what are you supposed to do with 4 befores? Yeah, you're supposed to take them off-road, aren't you? So I thought I'd take this one and do an across the map as well. And you know what? On the across the map, it didn't disappoint. It didn't power up the hills in quite the same way as some of the more focused four-wheel drive cars do in the game. But you know what? On road tyres, I think it did a very respectable job. It manages the bumpy stuff perfectly well. It's quite composed because it's a bigger car and it's quite heavy. What you'll find is that some of the lighter 4B4s can get thrown around a little bit off-road, but not with this one. This one this one cracks on nicely, to be fair. And when we came to finish the across the map, it wasn't at the top of the leaderboard, but it's not that far down. It actually pulled in a very, very steady time. So, for all of my judgement about this car in real life, the Rebler GTS in the game is actually really good. So from all the offer cars from this week, I think this is probably one you could look into picking up. You know, it looks pretty decent, you've got good customization, it's good off-road, good on-road, which that's going to make it 
a really decent missions vehicle. It's kind of like a, a non-armoured replacement for the for the Enus Jubilee, which is one of my favourite missions cars, actually. The Jubilee and the Paragon are great for missions because they're not ugly like the armoured Karuma, but they still give you the protection. They make it easy to get the missions done. At least, you know... you. You don't play this game to look like a gonk, do you? You want, you, you want to be doing these missions in some style, and that's what some of these cars let you do. So I'm going to have to eat all of my words from earlier, which is quite a few, so I will be full, and say I'm not going to forgive the X5. I'm certainly not going to forgive the X6. But in the game, I am prepared to forgive the Rebler GTS. And here's the final time it managed to do... You can see there that it's pulled in a really decent lap time, especially for an SUV. And here's where it sits on both of the lap boards. So I hope that was useful for you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.